Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing with this adorable stamp and die set from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I have some sequins as well as this brand new honeybee stamps. This is Inside Thankful Sentiments and I just love some of these sentiments so much. And you guys know if you've been with me for a little bit, that I like to decorate the insides of my cards. And I certainly thought a few of these would go great with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp out some of these cute little pumpkins and all of these images. Because I went ahead and bought the die set to coordinate, I'm going to go ahead and kind of like mass produce myself a bunch of ephemera with this kit. So I'm going to get multiples done all at once. And now with my Gemini Junior, it's so easy. I don't have to crank anymore. <laughs> I am loving my Gemini Junior, you guys, so much. I'm very happy with that purchase. It cuts so nicely. I am just really, really enjoying it. All right, so you can tell, like, I kind of just alternated and we leave things on there just to make sure I was getting a great impression. Sometimes I just don't want to mess with a stamp positioning tool. So I bring out this foam mat and I just make sure I'm using my favorite ink and that I'm getting a good impression because I can't double stamp. <laughs> it is not a skill that I've ever been able to hone very well. So here I'm going to use some Copic markers to color up these just really adorable images. They just make me happy. Like I had to get this stamp set. It just is a happy little stamp set. And I think it's so fun. So I know right now lots of people are doing Halloween and but Halloween's not for everyone but I think fall most certainly can be uh, it's a fun season I know we love fall it's one of my kids favorite times of the year um, you know picking out pumpkins and just the cool air we went for a walk this morning and just the air had cooled down so much it was like we needed hoodies at the beginning of our walk. <laughs> We're in Texas. You almost never need a hoodie. <laughs> Not until winter. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's a wonderful season. It most certainly is. So it, if you can't get behind Halloween, I understand. There's still a lot of fun to be had with crafting for this season. I know a lot of people have already jumped like straight into... Um, Christmas and I I don't know I make a Christmas card or two and I'm already like done I'm like I don't know I'm still crafting for fall <laughs> that's where my head is at fall and Halloween so here I'm just playing and coloring and using one color to do all the faces at once you know trying to to move it along um, and speed up the process. I ended up coloring quite a bit this night and it was lots of fun. So, you know, sometimes I'm in the mood to color and sometimes I'm not, but when the images are just this cute, I can't help myself. Of course I want to color it up. <laughs> so these are a part of a new release that Jamie's doing, um, where you can get just the stamp set. Uh, you can subscribe and get it each month, or you can get it um, just as a one-off, which is what I chose to do with this one. And then you can get a stamp and die. So this is the first time that she's come out with dies, and they coordinate with this little stamp set. Super cute. I really, really like it. Um, that little girl, Scarecrow. Oh. I can't. She's just so adorable. I don't think you'd have to dress her up as a girl only, you know, but that's just the way I, I, I see her. So, um, today I'm making two slimline cards with you guys and 
it took me a little while to make them, but when I got done, these were a couple of my most favorite cards that I've made in a little while. I don't know. Um, it, when you have this much fun making cards, it's hard to pick favorites, but I really do love these. So I'm just finishing up the coloring here. I left a lot more in than I thought. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. So I lay down my darkest color first and then I just blend it out with a secondary color. I don't get into a three color blend very often unless I have larger images, but if the images are small or if I'm just in the mood to keep it simple, I typically just do a two color blend. I am enjoying my Copics so much more now um, that I narrowed down my selection so much. It really is helping me. And then you guys um, may not have seen it before, but I put washi tape on the colors that blend together. So like for my greens, they all have the same gold heart washi tape or whatever. And so I have enough washi tape in my stash that I could do this where I could pick one and the, the colors that blend well together all have matching washi tape. And that is just a hack that I use so that when I glance at my desk, I know right away which colors go together. I don't even really have to pay too much attention to the numbers other than um, typically the higher the number, the darker the color, the lower the number, the lighter the color. So I can grab the three markers that are like in the green family that have the same ma matching washi tape. And I know they go together and I pick the, the highest number as my darkest. It's my method. It makes me happy. <laughs> it gets the job done. All right, so I'm gonna bring in a couple of colors here. This is Speckled Egg, Distress Oxide, and I also have Stormy Sky. Um, so this is how I do my skies. I rarely use a stencil. I just kind of randomly hit the paper with some blue, leaving plenty of white space for my clouds, and just kind of work it. I don't blend it very much. And for me, it looks like a sky. <laughs> so that's how I handle that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is kind of play around here, figure out my arrangement. So I wanted these all to be a vertical slimline. Both the cards today are vertical slimline cards. And I'm thinking, okay, I want to leave some space down at the bottom, um, not only for grass, but also for my sentiment. And I really like how the backgrounds turned out. And of course they were so fast to do. I think um, ink blending is the quickest background <laughs> besides pattern paper, of course. Um, but it's just so fast and easy and fun. And here I'm bringing in a little bit of tea dye um, because I want this to look crunchy. I want it to look like fall grass not summer grass well summer in texas our grass is pretty crunchy actually <laughs> but you guys know what i mean all right so now that i have that done i am going to stamp down my sentiment and the sentiment on this card it's just beautiful. You spread good deeds like flower seeds that blossom where you've been. I think everybody needs to hear that at least once in their lifetime. <laughs> so I'm so happy to have that sentiment. Some of the other ones that I really liked in here is consider this card a big hug. It's the little things that touch the heart the most. Your kindness is a gift I will always treasure. Uh, you know, thank you for being there for me. My heart is still smiling. Your kindness touched my heart. When I count my blessings, you're always at the top of the list. You have no idea how much your kindness means to me. You make the world a better place. You're such a blessing to me. Like there's so many great sentiments in here that I definitely want 
to be a part of my card making. So I was so excited to pick up the stamp set. And um, so yeah, Jamie sells honeybee stamps, lawn fawn, CC designs, um, stamping Bella, Trinity stamps. So in case you guys haven't gone there before, the Not Too Shabby Shop is a great place to pick up not only her exclusives, which I love and adore, but um, also some of your other favorite brands. And like with Lawn Fawn, I love buying my Lawn Fawn from Jamie because the prices already start out lower than her competitors. Um, and then you can also get a 10% discount. So I think it's the best price on Lawn Fawn personally. Um, that I've found and I've shopped around and yeah I think Jamie has the best lawn fun price and then I know sometimes maybe with MFT new releases that might be uh, I'm not sure if you can use the discount on those but I think you can um, I know there are some exclusions for the 10% discount but there it's good for most everything in the shop all right, so I laid down the sequins and now I'm putting in some of this Honey uh, Nouveau Drops. I really love doing this. I like filling in my sequins with Nouveau Drops. It looks so cool and it adds a little extra sparkle. Sparkle on top of sparkle. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is another stamp set that I had picked up. Um, it was a deal of the day. So every 24 hours, her deals of the day change. But I had eyeballed this one last year and didn't get it. And I grabbed it on the deal of the day. Um, and I'm so glad that I did because it, it goes perfectly with this. And I didn't have any owl stamp sets. Now I have this one and one other. Um, so I needed some little owls in my collection. This stamp set is called You're So Tweet and it comes with the owls and the branches and a birdhouse, which I also used here in this card, plus the really cute bow and flowers and a spray and some sentiments as well. So again, I'm just building up my little scene here from all the parts and pieces. Sunflowers were my dad's favorite flower, so I kind of have a weakness when it comes to sunflowers because I, they always make me think of him. He used to plant these big, huge, I think they were German sunflowers, and um, they would get like <clears throat> as tall as the house. <laughs> and then we would harvest the seeds um, for birds, and he would make sure that like in the winter time, we would bring out the sunflower heads and feed the birds with them. So I always just think of him and his sunflowers. Here I'm doing the same kind of background that I did the first time. <clears throat> Sorry, I need some water. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just um, blending my own little sky. It turns out different every time. And isn't that the way the sky is? <laughs> it's different every day. It's the same but different every day. And I'm going to do the same um, crunchy grass down here. Now on the first card, I did stitch around the edges. And I was thinking about doing that with this one too. But with this one, I didn't. What I ended up doing instead is I just stitched along the bottom edge and I added like a zigzag stitch because I thought that would be fun and grassy. <laughs> and now I'm just going to glue everything down. Both these cards are pretty flat. I only added a little bit of foam tape to a couple of um, places, but for the most part, they're pretty flat. You guys, I would love to know in the comments down below, do you craft for fall? If so, what kind of cards do you send? Do you send 
do you guys send Halloween or Thanksgiving cards? I just, I see that, you know, there's so much made for those, but you don't often send them. Like, luckily I have all of you guys, my crafty friends and my happy mail friends. So I can now create as many Halloween and fall and Thanksgiving cards as I want because I have friends to send them to. <laughs> um, I did make happy like summer cards this year. They weren't really like happy summer, but they were cards that I sent to people on my Christmas list, but I sent them during the summer, sending you some sunshine and just to kind of brighten some people's days. Um, so certainly I I think it's a good idea, right? The more, the merrier that we send encouragement and well wishes and little happy thoughts and card hugs to people. So just playing around here with the final arrangement of some of these pieces. Um, for the post today, uh, for the signpost and like the birdhouse post, those are just scraps of paper that I cut out and colored. Nothing too fancy. And I'm doing the same thing here with the sequins. And then I went back in and um, finished them off with my Nouveau drops. And these sequins came with my not too shabby order and they just happen to be the perfect colors I kind of picked colors that blended with the inked background and they just happen to fit perfectly in there. So these are my two cards and I really, really love them. So you can see the stitching. I have this yellow stitching all around the edges. Just so much cuteness in one place. And again, that sentiment, Ugh, I just love it. These cards were so much fun to play with. Um, I did check and these supplies are still available. If you're interested, I will leave them linked below. Um, definitely check out the Not Too Shabby Shop. I really enjoy shopping there. I always have. And I think you will too. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, I don't say it often, but give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. That does help my video get more exposure. Again, these are the supplies that I made. Uh, my cards with today, which is the stamp and die of the month, as well as your so tweet set. Oh, look at that cuteness. Just adorable. And then I also used the Honey Bee inside thankful sentiments. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.